If you're wondering if you should try melatonin because you're having problems with sleep, you click the right video. I'm David Toman, the author of this channel and NootropicsExpert.com. And I don't use melatonin. I can't use it. And it's not part of my sleep stack. Now you may want to avoid using melatonin too, because there are far safer and easier alternatives to use. I'll tell you what they are and why melatonin is out a little bit later in this video. But don't worry, because I will be covering why melatonin is so critically important to the fully optimized brain. So if you're using melatonin and like it, then you'll find plenty of positive proof in this video that you're doing the right thing. You'll get a brief explanation of how melatonin is created naturally in your body. You'll also learn how it feels and what goes wrong when your melatonin levels are too low. I'll share a few clinical studies on how melatonin helps with sleep, helps people who do shift work and who need to work the night shift. I show you how melatonin can help you avoid Alzheimer's, lowers cholesterol, relieves mild cognitive impairment in older folks. You'll find out how much melatonin to use if you insist on using it and what type or brand to buy. Now, before we jump into my melatonin video, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the save later button if you haven't got time to watch it right now. Hit the like button, which helps this channel rank better. And click the bell to be notified when my next video goes live. And please consider joining this channel. Click the join button below to learn about all the perks you get when you join the Nootropics Expert YouTube channel. So let's get started and learn more about melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone produced in your pineal gland. Melatonin is often referred to as the sleep hormone. As your body's central clock, melatonin tells your body, brain, and organs when to be active and when to take a break and rest. Melatonin synthesis and the neurotransmitter serotonin are both derived from the amino acid tryptophan. First, tryptophan is hydroxylated by an enzyme which is then converted with the help of a specific form of vitamin B6 called PLP in another enzyme to produce serotonin. Now, I won't go too deep into the neuroscience here and start naming off all the enzymes involved. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, then go to the melatonin review on my website, nootropicsexpert.com. Serotonin acts as a neurotransmitter on its own, but it's also converted and with, with the help of a couple of enzymes and SAMe to produce melatonin. The process is first fueled by the tryptophan you get from foods like turkey, chicken, tuna, oats, bananas, peanuts, and chocolate or from a tryptophan supplement. You can also supplement with 5-HTP to produce serotonin, which then goes on to create melatonin, or supplement with SAMe to help produce melatonin. Or you can take a melatonin supplement on its own and bypass this entire process. Not such a great idea, which I'll talk about in a minute, but it certainly is an option. Besides acting as your body's biological clock, melatonin is also a potent free radical scavenger and a wide spectrum antioxidant. The beauty of melatonin as an antioxidant is its ability to easily cross the blood brain barrier. Having enough melatonin in your system gives you a head start in protecting against Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, decreases your chances of stroke, and helps reverse the brain damage caused by stroke or traumatic brain injury. And of course, the bonus is a good night's sleep and feeling refreshed the next day, with your brain firing on all cylinders. Next, I'm going to explain in a little bit more detail how melatonin helps with sleep and how optimal melatonin levels help with longevity. So please stay tuned. Your pineal gland acts as your body's central clock by secreting melatonin. This action tells your brain and other organs when it's time to be active and when it's time to rest. Melatonin also helps regulate other hormones and maintains your body's circadian rhythm. Your pineal gland responds to darkness by producing melatonin. Blood levels of melatonin are low during the day, with peak levels occurring around 2 to 4 a.m. One study at Duke University Hospital surveyed clinical trials from 1948 to 2009. Researchers found that children with ADHD using melatonin doses of 3 to 6 milligrams showed improvement in how fast the kids went to sleep and significantly better quality of sleep. Another extensive survey of clinical trials was conducted by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services on melatonin use for sleep disorders. The overall conclusion of this research showed melatonin effective for improving quality of sleep and how fast a person went to sleep. The study concluded those who did not suffer from insomnia, those who did, and others who had messed up circadian rhythm patterns due to shift work and jet lag. 
Melatonin improves longevity by increasing the longevity gene CERT1. The gene plays an important role in maintaining metabolism and neuroplasticity. Melatonin is also a powerful antioxidant, protecting your brain from free radicals and oxidative damage. It stimulates gene expression of intracellular antioxidant systems. And melatonin helps relieve the free radical damage that occurs after traumatic brain injury or stroke. Research has found that melatonin levels in Alzheimer's disease are closely linked. Greatly reduced melatonin levels have been found in Alzheimer's patients. Higher levels of melatonin are maintained throughout your youth and middle age. But as you get older, melatonin levels drop, and as a result, you are at greater risk for brain damage both now and in the future. Your chances of having a stroke greatly increase as melatonin levels decline. Next, I'll tell you how melatonin feels when you take it as a supplement. For some of us, it's not a good feeling. So stay with me and you'll find out why. I no longer use melatonin to help me sleep. Instead, I prefer Performance Lab Sleep, which is a pre-made supplement containing 100 milligrams of magnesium, 500 milligrams of tart cherry extract as cherry pure, and 250 milligrams of tryptophan. Montmorency tart cherry contains the richest natural source of melatonin, identical to the hormones secreted by your pineal gland in your brain. And tart cherry does not leave you feeling hungover the next day like synthetic melatonin supplements do. Melatonin as a sleep aid has mixed reviews, and for good reason. Melatonin is a hormone that your body naturally produces from serotonin, but too much melatonin is not good. And a part of the problem could be because of the synthetic melatonin supplements marketed to promote sleep. But it's not only synthetic melatonin that causes the problem, it's also what's in the capsule that you thought was melatonin because that's what it said on the label. A study was done at the University of Guelph in Canada. The research team went to their local vitamin shop and bought 31 different brands of melatonin supplements and brought them back to the lab at the university. They published their results in the Journal of Sleep Medicine, and what they found will shock you. They found that synthetic melatonin content in the tested supplements ranged from less than 83% to 478% more than what was claimed on the sleep supplement facts label. And of the 31 supplements tested, contained undisclosed and illegal serotonin. The bottom line is some find that supplementing melatonin works well and others find it disrupts sleep patterns. If you are perfectly healthy and do not deal with insomnia on a regular basis, then you don't really need melatonin supplements. Everybody's body chemistry is unique. Some find that a half a milligram of melatonin works well and others need five milligrams. Experimenting is the key with this hormone. The thing is your brain uses only 0.5 to 0.8 milligrams of melatonin during the night. That's less than a milligram. Keep that in mind before you choose a melatonin supplement. And remember that study done at New University of Guelph I mentioned a minute ago? I'll explain another and safer way to increase your melatonin levels naturally in a couple of minutes. That way you can avoid all the problems from using a melatonin supplement. Now please know that I am not dissing all melatonin supplements because some truly do find that supplementing with melatonin is helpful. For example, many have found that melatonin helps regulate disrupted circadian rhythms caused by jet lag or having to work the night shift. Next, I'll share some clinical studies on how melatonin helps lower cholesterol, it helps older folks with mild cognitive impairment, and how melatonin works for uh, better than benzos for sleep. Melatonin levels decrease as we get older, and the possibility of heart disease increases. And studies over the last 10 years show that melatonin and your cardiovascular system are linked. Patients with heart disease have decreased melatonin levels. Studies also show that people with heart disease have high levels of LDL cholesterol. Research has found that supplemental melatonin decreases cholesterol by 38%, and it reduces LDL cholesterol by 42%. One study demonstrated that just one milligram of melatonin reduced blood pressure within 90 minutes of taking a supplement. Melatonin reduces blood pressure through its antioxidant properties by decreasing norepinephrine and epinephrine and relaxing the smooth muscle of the heart aorta wall. Mild cognitive impairment is often the final step before dementia. Approximately 12% of mild cognitive impairment patients convert to Alzheimer's disease or other dementia disorders every year. Researchers in Argentina took a look at the first and the final assessment of 50 mild cognitive impairment patients, 25 of whom had received a daily dose of 3 to 9 milligrams of melatonin at bedtime for 9 to 18 months. 
Patients who took melatonin showed significantly better performance in the mini mental state examination and the cognitive test used to assess Alzheimer's. The team conducted several other tests and found better performance in every test but one. The researchers concluded that melatonin can be a useful drug for treating mild cognitive impairment. Many people use benzos for sleep. Drugs like Xanax and Valium and Ativan all have nasty side effects, and studies going back 25 years show that benzos depress natural melatonin levels. Now, this is a problem because drugs taken for sleep are depleting the very hormone that your body uses for sleep. To make matters worse, regular benzo use is now recognized as putting you at greater risk for dementia. This study done in Argentina has subjects use fast-release melatonin 3 to 9 milligrams every day for three years just before bedtime. It significantly improved cognitive and emotional performance, including their daily sleep-awake cycles of patients. A follow-up study was done with 91 mild cognitive impairment patients. 61 patients received 3 to 24 milligrams of fast-release melatonin at bedtime for 15 to 60 months. Patients given melatonin showed significantly better cognitive performance than every other parameter tested. Depression scores in the patients also decreased, and it showed an improvement in the quality of sleep and wakefulness. Before the study began, 62.8% of the patients were using benzos to help them sleep. At the conclusion of the study, only 9.8% were using benzos to help them sleep, along with melatonin. So my recommendation is if you are using one of these drugs for sleep, it would be wise to start using melatonin instead and start weaning yourself off the benzos. Next, I'm going to talk about how much melatonin to take, so please don't go anywhere. Unlike all other nootropics we talk about on Nootropics Expert, there is no recommended dosage for melatonin because everyone has different responses to its effects. Lower doses, like a half a milligram of melatonin, works well for some who are especially sensitive, and higher doses can cause anxiety and irritability. The best approach is to start with a very low dose of melatonin, like a half a milligram, and see how your body reacts. Mine doesn't even react well to a half a milligram. The right dose should produce a restful night's sleep with no irritability or fatigue the next day. For jet lag, a half a milligram to five milligrams of melatonin an hour before your bedtime at your final destination. Melatonin is considered very safe when it's taken in normal recommended low doses. Some may experience nightmares or vivid dreams when supplementing with melatonin. Melatonin can cause drowsiness if taken during the day. And if you experience a sleep hangover the next day, that likely means that you took too much melatonin the night before. Other side effects include abdominal cramps, dizziness, headache, irritability, decreased libido, breast enlargement in men, and reduced sperm count. Melatonin can interfere with fertility if you're trying to get pregnant. Do not use melatonin while you're pregnant. Birth control or contraceptive drugs can interact with melatonin and may increase your melatonin levels more than you intended. Studies have shown that melatonin increases estrogen receptor binding activity of breast cancer cells. So if you're dealing with breast cancer, you should avoid supplementing with melatonin. Melatonin can worsen symptoms of depression. So if you're dealing with depression or are using antidepressant medications, you should avoid using melatonin. Remember that melatonin is a hormone. So if you have hormone-related issues, you must be careful about using melatonin. Melatonin slows blood clotting and it increases the risk of bleeding and should be avoided if you're taking anticoagulant medications or are anticipating surgery. Melatonin can interfere with steroids and immunosuppressant medications and can cause them to lose their effectiveness. Next, we'll talk about type of melatonin supplement to buy if you're going to buy one. So stay tuned. Melatonin is available in capsules, tablets, and as a liquid. Capsules and tablets are usually ranged from 1 to 5 milligrams, if you can trust what it says on the label. Remember that section before that, how does melatonin feel, where I talk about problems with melatonin supplements and why you should be cautious about your choice of melatonin supplement if you choose to use it? I recommend Montmorency Tart Cherry Juice Concentrate instead, which is nature's best natural source of melatonin. You can get 500 milligrams of Montmorency Tart Cherry as Cherry Pure in Performance Lab Sleep, which also contains 100 milligrams of magnesium biglycinate and neutrogenesis magnesium and 250 milligrams of tryptophan for a great night's sleep. I have a link to Performance Lab Sleep below in the notes section right below this video if you want to try it. So that's my report on melatonin. 
You'll find a link below this video that takes you to the full transcript for this video over on my website, Nootropics Expert. I also do consultations. So if you're going crazy trying to figure this stuff out on your own, or you've tried a bunch of supplements and they're not working as well for you, that you'd like, schedule an hour with me and I'll work with you and we'll get you straightened out. Building a nootropic stack specifically tailored for you. You'll find a link to my calendar down in the notes section below this video. And don't forget to download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details in 92 of the most popular nootropics used in the world today. And my four-time award-winning book, Head First, the second edition, is 962 pages and available in hardcover, a paperback, or for iPad or Kindle. You can get your copy at any major bookseller, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, Apple Books, and other bookstores. You'll find a link to these stores below in the notes section below this video. And please consider joining our community here on the Nootropics Expert YouTube channel. We're just getting started, so please click the Join button below and learn about all the perks you get for joining us. And before you go, please hit the subscribe button, share this video, and hit the notification bell so you'll know the next time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.